Hi, Gretchen. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Very good to meet you, too. Okay. So, people usually don't come here and tell me how good they're feeling. <laughs> so, how can I help you today? All right. Well, I definitely have a little bit of issues with like hips and lower back. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty active. I do, uh, I'm a fencer uh, in martial arts. I fight with swords and I horseback ride and I was a kickboxing instructor um, and which actually that's what started all of the uh, hip pain. Okay. So. How long have you had the hip pain? Since August actually. Okay. August yeah. of last year? Uh, yeah. No hip pain before that? Was there an no. accident or injury at that time in August? Um, that's whenever I was doing the kickboxing the most. Okay. So I'm pretty sure uh, I was working 40 hours a week and uh, okay. instructing classes for those 40 hours. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. Okay. So yeah. there was no particular injury. You weren't kicking and felt something. There was no snapping yeah. moment of it just kind of was it gradual over yeah, time? Yeah, I just um, it kind of felt like I woke up one day and I was like, something's off. Okay. Okay. So what do you do now to make the pain better? Um, I've been doing a lot of like yoga stretching and stuff whenever I go to work out. Okay. Um, and then how helpful is it? Does it resolve it completely or temporarily? Uh, it kind of, uh, it definitely mitigates it. Uh, okay. So it, it's kind of like a management tool, I would say, mm -hmm. rather than something that gets rid of it. Okay. I notice most of the time that I get a lot of irritation in my lower uh, back or left hip if I've been walking around all day. Okay, walking makes it on, worse. Like, cement or that kind of stuff okay. yeah mm -hmm. all right how does it feel when you sit for long periods of time um a little achy but, okay, not, but not much not nearly as much as if i've been like actively using it okay so when you're actively using it and it mm -hmm. starts to hurt what does it feel like is it sharp dull achy um kind of achy burny almost like a bruise you ever feel any pain into your legs into the back or front of your legs um into your toes any numbness tingling I've had tingling on that same side before whenever I was sitting down. Kind of felt like cold water was poured down my hip, except I had no water on mm -hmm. me. Okay, so yeah. what part of your hip? Was it the side or the back? Um, so I'll feel the muscles tense up on the side of it, okay. and then the pain will be on the back of it. Is there anything else that has happened to your hip since August or low back? Since August? Uh, no. Whenever I was younger, I, I threw my pack out at 14. Okay. Doing what? <laughs> that, um, I was a stable hand for 10 years. Okay. So I was doing stall work and dealing with horses and lifting things that I had no idea how to lift. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. Okay. And so, like, what happened at that injury? Did you, were you, did you have to go to the hospital? Did um, you get x-rays? No. Uh, I basically just kind of sucked it up because I was 14 and silly and didn't tell my mom and she caught me with like my back spasming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, oh, are you okay? And then I went to a birthday party. Okay. Decided to ignore it completely mm -hmm. as a 14 year old does. You were at the birthday party and you were in agony or were you just kind of... Was... Uh, so we went to the aquarium mm -hmm. and my friend insisted everyone dress up so I was in heels and I ended up taking my friend had dressed up in like a top hat and a cane I ended up stealing their cane for the majority of the ah, night. Okay. It was bad. Every time I went mm -hmm. to move I would like seize up in my back. Did you ever have any therapy after that? No. Okay. All right. Tell me is there anything else? Is you, how's your neck and head? Do you ever, ever have any headaches? Um, I get headaches every now and then, but not uh, not like migraines or anything mm -hmm. relatively severe. Most okay. of the time, I forget to drink water. Okay, dehydration. <laughs> yeah. So like once a week, once a month? Uh, once a month, twice a month, something like that. Okay, not bad. Um, and then, so do you ever have tension in your neck and shoulders with that? Uh, I'd say definitely in my shoulders. That's okay. where I hold everything. Okay. Um, do you feel that on a normal basis, consistent, or is it just here and there? Really on a very normal basis. I don't realize I'm tensing up. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one of my one of my friends who also fences with me, um, she's a massage therapist, and she's like prodded me before. I've been like, so are you aware that you shouldn't be like holding all that? Mm -hmm. And then I'll like slowly kind of. Like, well. Okay. Uh, it's always good to have a friend like that, right? <laughs> Do you have anything else um, from your history as a child? Any disease? Any diagnosis? Were you ever hospitalized for anything? Um, I was hospitalized for bronchitis and pneumonia on multiple occasions. Do you know, what was your birth like? Do you know, were you a cesarean birth or were you natural? Um, I was natural. Was any other injuries, anything that you can think of that might be valuable in helping take care um, of your low back pain today? Let's see. I know that I have extra vertebrae. Uh, Where? 
So I'm not quite sure. Last time I went to a chiropractor, um, he took an x-ray and he said that two of the vertebrae that I had, instead of being one vertebrae, were two. Okay. Uh, he also told me that I had slight scoliosis and that uh, it, my tailbone had never fused. Like the cartilage, apparently mm -hmm. when you're older it fuses. He mm -hmm. said that mine was just plain cartilage. Okay. Um, and in my big toes I have functional extra bone. Can't see anything on the outside, but mm -hmm. the x-rays say it's there. Uh, on my uh, right hand, um, I partially tore everything through here. Uh, so this joint's a little weird, but um, that's the only like severe injury I've had other than throwing my back out. How's your digestion? Uh, probably better if I ate better. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have discomfort in your um, when you're digesting? Uh, not normally. If I eat particularly, like, horrible, I'll get bloated and bloated, kind of uncomfortable. Bloated, gassy, okay. All right, mm -hmm. how's, um, menstrual cycle? Is that normal 28 days? Um, with the birth control I'm on, it's pretty much gone. What was it like before the birth control? Uh, pretty regular, actually. You went to a chiropractor before. What was that care like? Did you go several times, just one time? I went, uh, three or four times, uh, which it was great. Uh, it was whenever I had first, uh, started to have problems with, like, arthritis and, um, inflammation issues, and, uh... He did a really great job. It irritated the arthritis a little bit because he was trying to like straighten everything out and he warned me before. But I feel like long term it was uh, really helpful with like day to day just mobility. Back pain mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. One out of ten tends the worst pain ever. Where is your back pain on average? Normally that's at about a three to four, but if I've irritated it, it bumps up to a ten very easily. There have been uh, a couple days, like a, even just two months ago, where I had to sit and stop what I was doing and just take a rest because it mm -hmm. was just uh, near tears. And I was like, nope. <laughs> Let's do an exam and see what your spine says and mm -hmm. then I'll get you adjusted and feeling better, okay? Awesome. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so we have some heat here and some heat coming up here. It's a little warmer in the upper left, middle right. Let me actually lose some heat sensation down to low back. Feels like maybe a restriction here. Okay, now I'm gonna come a little bit deeper into your spine and just test the muscles. And go ahead and sit up nice and straight. Bring your head back, there you go. Tension here. That's where you hold it. It's under there. Yeah, I can start to feel that. Okay. All right, let's test the motion here in your lumbar spine. So just lean back. Good. There. On the left. Let's test the motion of the SI joints. Come back this way. Pain? Uh, it gets kind of stiff, yeah. There, yeah? Yes? Yeah. Not... Okay, let's compare that to the right side. Pain? Nope. Pain? Nope. Pain? Nope. Let's try here. Pain? Mm. No. So. I didn't ask before, is it mostly the left hip? It's mostly the left hip, yeah. Okay, open, close. Can you do that without bending backwards? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I lose all my balance. It's okay, let's try it. Open, close, open, close. 
All right, so and the left hip is higher than the right. Okay, looking at the hips, the right hip comes forward a little bit more than the left. Turn around and go the other way. Right hip's moving forward just a little bit more like this, and the left one doesn't quite have that same motion. It's just a little bit asymmetrical. You can see a slight dip in the shoulders. Come back this way. High left shoulder. In a high left hip sitting. So laying down, visualizing the spine, I can see a little bit more of that rotation in your thoracic here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a rib head right here. Pain? A little bit. Here? Mm-mm. Here? Yeah, that starts to get... Yeah. Well, that I can feel everything tensing up. <laughs> What's that? So that I can feel my muscles tensing up when you press there. In this space right here. Mm -hmm. This is huge right here. So we've got a four, a three. This is the upper lumbar. Lower thoracic transition, probably L2, L, right at L2. Yeah, right there, I can feel everything. <laughs> okay, and so you feel tension below and above this space when I push here? Yeah, it's like all the muscles just kind of uh, tighten when you press it. Okay, this is, the, this is the most dense soft tissue in your entire spine right here. This is where I'm finding the most scar tissue. So, what were you lifting when you were 14? I was lifting five uh, iced through five gallon uh, buckets of water. Um, we had had a snowstorm and I had to get all the ice out so that the horses could drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> What's showing up is that this was where you were injured when you were 14, mm -hmm. here in your lumbar spine. And then this is where all the scar tissue is, and you have a little bit above it, and then a little bit below it, this L4, L5, where the extra vertebrae is. It's not actually extra, it's, it's the one that's always there for everybody, but mm -hmm. it just hasn't fused. So you have six lumbar instead of five lumbar, and you have four sacrum instead of five. And then, you can, so this, can you feel all this out here too? Yeah, if you press into that, it's like, it's almost as if I, if you hit like a certain spot, it'll be like, oh no, and feel kind of like a bruise, like right in there, yeah. Okay. This is glute medius. Yeah, right there, that is tender. Gluteus medius. Keeping your knee straight. Mm -hmm. Lift this whole leg in the air. Go down. Left. Down. All right, so it's actually showing up on both sides. The lumbar muscles are not contracting appropriately on either side of the spine right now. And then a lot of this lower lumbar sacral stuff and the SI joint was on the left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just let your hips relax, that's good. Lift your left hip up just a little bit. Down. Right hip up just a little bit. Down.
How's that pressure, okay? Yep, that's good. Okay, very gentle into your neck. We're going to try to loosen that sugar point up before mm -hmm. I adjust you, okay? Okay, go ahead and take a deep breath in and out. So we're gonna do the sacrum on the left and the lumbar very high up here on the right. The left is short and we're gonna bend, bend your knees. And stay short. Okay, Gretchen. Let's practice an adjustment first, just so you can kind of feel what it's going to be like, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to follow your breath. So you're going to take a nice soft breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you breathe out, I'm just going to follow your breath this way. And at the end of your breath, we'll give a little push, okay? All right. You're doing good. I feel like you're almost completely relaxed, but you have a little bit more. Just let your shoulders down. There it is. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. And then there's a nice little pop there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take care of this rib head first, okay? Mm -hmm. And that'll clear out some of this tension. We can see what else is going on in the thoracic spine. Okay, so nice soft breath in through your nose, not through your mouth. Just let yourself relax, good, sink in. Good, let it all sink. Good, let it relax, let the shoulders down, good. Lean back as you blow it out. Keep coming. Okay, so this is how we adjust the low back and the hips, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring your hips down, just kind of like this, and let your shoulders relax. There you go, breathe through your nose, gentle. Let it out, closing your eyes helps still, kind of helps you let go. And uh, you know, just know that uh, no one ever falls off the table. Okay, <laughs> I do this all the time, no one ever falls. Okay. Okay, so here's the spot. I'm just gonna kind of come like, we're gonna let your shoulders relax like this. I'm gonna bring my hand to here, and then we'll give it a little push, but I need you to let go. I need your shoulders to relax. Good, starting to move already. We're in the right direction. Good, breathe in and out. Lay your back. Mm -hmm. well, that's the most that's ever cracked. <laughs> okay, like this one's a little bit different. We're gonna adjust your lumbar on this side. We said L2 here. So let's find. This should be L4, but on your spine, let's see. Your L5 moves too. L5 is typically not mobile in this position, but L5, L4, 3, 2. And this is where we found all that scar tissue. Okay, so just like the other one, we're just going to do the same thing. I'm going to contact here in your spine. We're going to bring this down and breathe in through your nose, not through your mouth. Good. Nice, gentle. Lay in your back. Bring this down. Okay, turn your head to the right. Center. Left. Center. Tender. A little bit. How about this one over here? Not um, as bad? Not as bad, no. Okay, okay I'm going to lift up your head, okay? Just try mm -hmm. to let it relax as much as possible. Let it go, let your head drop, there you go. So I'm gonna adjust your neck now, but first I wanna help you 
accomplish this feeling of like dropping and this is what you want to accomplish. So wherever I move your head, if I move it over here, then after you're going to drop here, drop. Let me pick up your head. Good. Okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start on the left side. We're gonna bring your head to the side, right about here, and then we're gonna push in that direction, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, loosey goose here, nice soft breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. How'd that feel? I can feel it loosen up down like through my shoulders almost. <laughs> I'm gonna adjust the right side of your neck now. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is just bring your head over to the side like this, and then we're gonna push it in that direction like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice soft breaths in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Good, just let it go loose, 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 loose. The next one, I'm gonna do a little stretch here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is pick up your head like this, and we're gonna pull it in that direction. You're gonna feel me increase the curve like that and give it one more little pull, okay? Mm -hmm. Go gentle, just let yourself sink in. Nice breath there. Ooh. Wow. That released a lot. <laughs> right. Now push your jaw against my hand. So left push. Feel weaker on the right? Mm -hmm. Okay, open, close, open, close, open, close. All right, so I'm gonna bring your head over to the side like this and then I'm just mm -hmm. gonna push like that into your jaw, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let your jaw loose. Let this go like loose. Yeah, there you go, loosey goosey. Right, like there. Any pain there? Mm -hmm. Any discomfort at all? Okay, close your eyes. Good. Good. Open. Close. Open. Close. It's not clicking anymore. Mm -hmm. Open. Close. Okay, don't take this the wrong way, but after you have your jaw set, mm -hmm. you need to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> So you have just a little bit of the, the hallux valgus here too. Do you have bunions in your family? Um, a little bit, yeah. Mom? Grandma? I think grandma for sure. I know my mom does a little bit. Do you ever have any tenderness out here? Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. What kind of dog do you have? I have a border collie mixed with an Australian shepherd. Oh yeah, they're 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 shetty. Yeah, very fluffy, very smart. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust your ankle now, mm -hmm. Gretchen. What I'm gonna do is kind of bring your uh, ankle down to here, mm -hmm. and we'll give it a little pull in that direction. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice and gentle. Take a nice soft breath in and out. Again, let this go. Good. Let the hip go. Okay, so I'm going to do an ileocecal valve release, okay? This mm -hmm. is the window in between your small and your large intestine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to contact the belly button first, and then your ASIS, the bony protuberance here. Mm -hmm. We're going to connect a line in between the two, divide it into thirds, and then find the tender point. Tender? A little bit. Not bad. There we go. Feel that. Okay, so 
breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then when you breathe, fill your belly up with air. Push your belly out. More. Good. Out. Now bring your belly all the way in towards your spine. Good. In. Push your belly out. Out. Push your belly in. Keep going. All right, so I'm going to work down the side on this iliotibial band. Tender? No. We're gonna do some hip mobilization here, okay? So bend this hip and come up like this. Good. Now let this just rock. Loosey goes. It's right there. Down. Okay, squeeze. Let your elbow relax. Look straight ahead. Squeeze. Let this relax. Mm -hmm. Look straight ahead. Go like this. Hold your pinky and thumb together. Don't let me pull it apart. Hold. Good. Hold. Good. Now turn and go like this. Hold. Hold. On the radius, so look straight ahead. Let the shoulder down. Good. Relax. Let this relax here. Hold on. Let it go. Let your arm drop into my hands. And adjust your shoulder now. Bring your chin to your chest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reach around the front here. Okay, loosey goose. Just kind of let your shoulders relax. Lean forward a little bit. Okay, one on the right side. Lean forward just a little bit. Good. Oh, much better. It's like a whole new person in here. Mm -hmm. Let your wrist completely fall into my arm there. Good, look straight ahead. You got a lot of fire, which is good. Did you do martial arts as well? Uh, so that's kind of the sword stuff that I do. I do historic European martial arts. So I fight Germanic longsword. And um, I'm currently learning rapier. How's your energy level? Um, I tend to get a little bit sluggish sometimes. Um, Let me see. Pull your chin back a little bit. Any doctor ever checked your thyroid? Uh, once, whenever I was getting my RA blood work done. Mostly I was just told, well, you're enough to be weird, but not enough to be a concern. <laughs>
I also get tested for limes every so often because of all the uh, stable work I've done. I've been bitten mm. by ticks more mm -hmm. times than I can count. And that can take up to 10 years to show in someone. I'll just relax it. Great adjustment today. Everything that needed to go went. How do you feel right now initially? I feel much more relaxed than when I came in. I feel like I'm going to have like a really good sleep tonight for mm -hmm. the first time in forever. So that's awesome. Um, your lifestyle is very active and aggressive. And so, <laughs> you know, the true maintenance is in your hands. You do yoga every day? Uh, not every day. Usually just whenever I go to the gym afterwards, I'll try to stretch. I, I admit I hate doing yoga. I, it does help, but I hate sitting still. I'm not very good at the mindfulness of it all. Mm -hmm. um, Why? Get, Why aren't you good at it? I don't know. I get that peace of mind whenever I'm running. That's when I can really let my brain go. I find mm -hmm. it really hard to meditate when I'm super still. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that typically happens actually with people who are very sensitive. And mm -hmm. so like when you start to be quiet and still, mm -hmm. everything starts to come up and you start to experience all these sensations. Whereas when you go out and pound the pavement, you know, there's so much stimulation mm -hmm. that it causes a dampening of the sensation. So it's easier to zen out. It's still a meditation. It's still the mm -hmm. same thing. The interesting thing is that the, the things that are arising in you when you're being still and quiet, those are the important things. <laughs> and that's what you need to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. Like tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. when you wake up, do some cobra and do some <laughs> pigeon mm -hmm. and see how your body feels and you know, if those are the things that help you in the gym when you're trying to open up, um, I would do them every day. You know, five minutes in the morning will make a huge, it'll make all the difference in the world if you can just do a little <laughs> bit every day rather than wait, you know, until, mm -hmm. until the, after the gym or until it hurts. Yeah. Because your lifestyle is so active. You're just, <laughs> you know, you're beating people with swords and you're still riding horses now. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm still riding. Um, I actually do a little bit of swords on horseback too. Um, there's stuff to do for that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, grappling, all that kind of stuff. Cool. That's excellent. Yeah, I'm You're... excited. My yeah. Fingers crossed. I, I can't wait to actually go in and like sword fight now. <laughs> nice. I feel like you guys feel like I've like powered up. All right, stand up. Take that for a test drive. Go to walk around the table a bit. I think this is the least tight it's been since August. Much less tight. Much less tight. <laughs>